Hello, it's Sarah. And this video is just to say hi and tell you what's going on with me these days. Um, I have a little order haul that I did and some, some items here that I'll talk about in a minute. But I went to the doctor's yesterday and I've, because I've, I have tendinitis, which I don't know if that's it completely, but like look at my pointer finger. You see how swollen it is compared to my other one? And I have my shoulder, my right shoulder, and this is my right hand and I'm right handed. My right shoulder has almost like a bursitis situation happening. And she told me, which I'm so sad, that it's probably from painting, which really made me sad because since Matthew passed away, my son, this is Matthew, he was only 20 here and he had his baby. That's Maya. She's 16 now. Mm, I have been in the craft room pretty much every day and I've been painting and I... It started because I ordered the um, Erica Joanne subscription box that it's late coming but the second box is on its way and I have so many projects like look this is something that I she told me to like like this is um, I don't even know the name of it but I am in the VIP group and I'm also in the Woodland Whimsy group so I just wanted to share those of you who are also doing that. Uh, I got some just Sonia paint and I wanted to share that with you. But look at this. This is, um, what is it called? I think this was a VIP class. Here it is. Um, last year. Uh, it doesn't have the name. Hold on. Chatterbox of Color. <sighs> and so I'm, this is the base coating and I'm about to start highlighting and shading, but I wanted to get the colors. Because her technique, the damp dry brushing, I've been enjoying so much because it's different than floating. Because I could float and I would get this, you know, a good effect, but the damp dry brushing is something new and it really helps to have the Jasonia paint because it's a much less watery paint. It's more thick and it has more substance to it. So anyway, I'll get into that in a second, but look at this. So Joe made me this box and it goes all the way around. Now this is not the color that she base coated with either. I think I ordered it though. Espresso. I think she had base coated hers with espresso and I just used um, russet. So I have been substituting colors and I did not need to buy this because for a base coat it's okay. Like I can just have to do the techniques is when you really need the Jasonia paint. But anyway. I'm a big proponent of use what you have, right? I've always said that in all my painting videos. Yellow is yellow, right? But when you're highlighting and shading, it, it does make a difference. So anyway, let me put that back here. Um, so I did go ahead and order a few paints from the Josonia website, not from Erica Joanne. And they were on sale. So instead of being $7.95 for golden green, yep. I paid $5.17, so about a $2 difference, a little over $2, right? Um, yeah, so I went ahead and did it. So I think I spent 50 bucks, and I got some of the main color, but the vermilion. Like, I've been substituting, um, I forget what I, like, I, I put everything away. Like an orange, it, anyway, and... To highlight and shade though, you just need this thicker, the thicker paint. So I got, I treated myself to a few colors. Yellow Oxide, I had this, I wanted to compare. So this is so funny because this is older than the hills. I got this at AC Moore, I don't even know when. Because AC Moore stopped selling just Sonia paint. But this is Yellow Oxide, but it says, this is Series 1. And um, I think they are a little different. This says matte, velvet matte finish. This says just matte. So anyway, I was using this, the yellow oxide, but it's like clumpy and not good. So I'm going to just tuck it because I got a new yellow oxide. This celadon is what I'm going to be highlighting and shading with. And I guess like I have colors in the decorative uh, 
ceram coat and the Americana, but whatever. I got a few different ones that Erica tends to use a lot. Um, let's see what this is. Marigold. I've been substituting marigold so much. Let me see. These bottles were $7.95 regularly. I got it for $5.17. The tubes were $5.33 regularly, and I got them for $3.46. So just if you're interested, the Josonia website, Josonia. Um, dot com. Let's see if it's on here. Uh, yes, josonia.com. Yep. So that's what I got from there. I got several different colors. But in this case, here's one I got. So I had this color leaf, and I wanted to tell you guys that are doing. And I've been substituting for the leaves, and this is vines. This happens to be the color that she used for the box. And I think I used the leaf, and it looks fine because I didn't have this. Look how close they are. Like, it's a leaf. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. It's just that I didn't know. You can't really, really tell when you're looking, because I use the Jasonia website to see the color, and then I substitute. Um, so in this case, I wouldn't go, go ahead and buy it. It's $3 if you feel like it. Then you can use the actual color that Erica uses, but I ended up using the, the leaf anyway. So that's that. That's what I'm saying about that. All right. The other thing I wanted to talk about was, oh, and I got these patterns. So see, this is the problem. I just got this, the Lily Llama. This I want to do on a round, like one of my little, um, and this is six by six. So I ended up going and getting a couple of things at, this is a six by six panel like a canvas panel. So I'm going to paint her on there. She's just so cute. It makes me happy. And so I'm going to be doing that. And then this was the other one. This is called uh, Earth Fractor. It's Earth. And I just love it. There's birds, the sun, cats. And then she, the fractors are things that you can celebrate. You can put your birth dates here, maybe death dates. I don't like death dates at all. Um, but just someone's maybe name and then their birth and death date I don't know just in remembrance but these are on watercolor paper so I love doing them and it was on sale so from $11.95 to $7 so I just got that and this was something I saw I was at um, Hobby Lobby and they had just one of these but it's actually like a book I'd never seen one of these before I'd seen the books that were like finished they, that you can buy to store it, like, anyway, I can't explain it, but they're storage little file things, but this was an actual box, like a book. I just thought it was cute. Got that. This is something new. So you guys know that I love to use my uh, gold leafing pens on all my, the edges, especially on these little ornaments. So both of these, I used my um, gold leafing pen to just do the edge. I like to do it on all ornaments. I've been doing it ever since Tracy Moreau did it. I started doing it. So I found a silver leafing pen. Got this at Hobby Lobby, $6.99. So I can, like this might have looked, I mean, she has a gold halo, so it's fine. But I don't always use gold in a piece and silver may be more appropriate and then the rose gold. So I'm gonna play around with those, but I they're I love them. I don't think I'll ever not have one. This one's empty. Yeah, this one's still got stuff, but this is pretty much empty. Um, but I love them. I, I mean, they're a little messy. They're wet when you first apply them, but then when they dry, they're very permanent. So I got those two other colors, and then I got some legs. These are not legs. They're kind of drawer pulls or something but I have these little boxes that Joe makes me and I also you know what I forgot that this I might want to put feet on this box too to just make it more uh, fancy I'll be able to I'll sand there's just a some paint stuck to the bottom there it is but I'll sand and seal the bottom again but these little they're like knobs but look how cute that would look. A little foot. And I could put like three and three. Let's see. How many come in here? I can't see where it says. 
eight pieces so I could do three and three yeah and then there's just another little version of it so these are called wood finial dowel caps and these are called wood pulls so I just because Joe makes me these little boxes like I just use I had these in my stash they are little balls with the flat part on there so I just think it adds a little like it makes it look a little more expensive or something you know what I mean see and look I use the gold leafing here but like maybe oh I used gold all through here too but like I I don't know I, I just want to I love metallics I love playing with those um, this is something I ordered too from her. I got two more of these moths. See, look what she does. Her husband is etching the pattern right onto the MDF board. So I ordered two more of these from them. And um, this is all pencil so far. Um, this was part of the um, Woodland Whimsy. I just got this. It was $1.79, like a big crystal. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it made me happy in the moment. <laughs> so I don't I haven't hung it up yet. And then the beads were 50% off, so I had to get, I had never seen these little tulips. Look how precious with a pearl. OMG. I mean, I should have gotten two, but then I'm like, Sarah, you have so much. Just stop. Um, and I got just two pencils because these are pencil colors. Um, Hobby Lobby's are $1.99. I think they're more at Michael's, but each, each Prismacolor pencil, you can buy them separately. Um, this is light umber and lime peel, which are two common, they're, they're pencils that she uses quite a bit. So that's basically it, you guys. Uh, um, I don't know. I just feel like I have to listen to my body, but it's so annoying because I want to, like, there's another VIP class coming up, um, with a bumblebee, and I really want to do it. Um... So, um, it's just hard to listen to your body and, you know, and grief. It's just where I'm at right now in my life. It's really very hard. But painting is my serenity. So to be told that I can't paint really, whew, threw me for a loop. <laughs> um, I just, I guess I'll just have to do it in moderation because I've been coming in here like every day. And I actually had carpal tunnel the other night. It woke me up out of, out of a dead sleep. And I thought my arm was broken, like for no reason. It was just in pain. So I'm definitely doing something to myself. I thought this was arthritis, but she said it's not. And my foot isn't right right now. So I don't know, you guys. That's all. I just wanted to share, let you know that life keeps lifing it's not going to stop i have to be able to handle whatever life hands me and i'm doing the best i can i really am um and i love you guys thanks for watching and have a grateful day